hii mti inakaa kuna mambo ambayo si ya kiroho ni mambo ya mwili inafanyaga si la kibinadamu akaukiwe sometimes we are accusing spiritual body many time we accuse spiritual body mwili wa kiroho ule wa kiungu lakini we are not judging the mortal body this is the physical body na hii physical body if you are not going to manage it it will control you and it will overreact let me tell you binadamu aliubwa akurage kutoka kwa mtu binadamu wote aliumbwa akure kutoka kwa mtu na binadamu akikosa mtu wa kukura kitu ya kukura kwako ataanza kukukura human beings is a man eater and he lacks something to eat you will start eating you hata kwenu kwa nyumba hata hawa watoto hata huyu bwana hata huyu bibi hata hii huduma ikikosa kukula kitu kutoka kwangu it will start eating me na wengi mumekuliwa akili mpaka mumechanganyikiwa juu ulikosa maarifa ndio kila wakati umechanganyikiwa juu nyumba yako unafaa uwe na maarifa ili utapewa watu wasikukule kichwa hawa watoto wacha kuambia nimewalea wameubwa wewe ukiwa kisho kama mama ama ukiwa baba kila siku maswali mingi uombe Mungu akupe maarifa ya kujibu si watusi si wakeme na kama huna wabie hold on let it see tomorrow tomorrow you will make a fruit you will make something to eat lakini ukikasikika utakuwa na tu dara mwili inaitwa hasira tabu cha wagalatia mlango wa 5 mstari wa 19 basi matendo ya mwili ni dhahiri ndio haya usherati uchafu ufisadi ibada ya sanamu uchawi uadui ugomvi wivu hasira fitina faraka uzushi usuda ulevi ulafi god bless you mtu wa fitina hakuna mahali anakuwaga na maneno ya hekima so amekauka mdomo wake na roho yake imejaa uchungu amekaa kama hii mti amekaa kama mti usherati tama hello tama tama imeja na hii inakausha each and every branches of your life let me ask you you might have one ama waweza kuwa uko na fitina dio pande moja kwako kumekauka waweza kuwa na bili drunkenness ulevi eh. nilikwambia hata tot hiyo unakunywa Bible inakataa na Bible inasema watu wale wagojwa mtu mgojwa sana na mtu amekata tamaa Excuse me in the book of Proverbs inasema mtu ule amekata tamaa na mtu mgojwa na mujiga wa kunywe pombe So uangalie unakunywa juu ya kukata tamaa na tuko nawe hapa ama ulize kwenu your brother your sister uliza guitulin ah watu ni tamaa walikata Juu saigine tunawekelea pepo ni roho ya daimono. Ulisa, huyu mtoto alikata tamaa. Uanze badala uataki pombe, uataki roho ya kukata tamaa. Ama uataki roho ya ujiga. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Ukifukuza shetani, jua akona entrance. Shetani hana shida, ni mrango tu umefugua. Mrango tu ndio imefuguliwa na shosho yako, akaanza kupika pombe kwenu. Mkakosa kuabiwa. Eh ni utugu wivu ndio ilifuguliwa kwenu. Muna wivu. Wivu na uadui ndio iko kwenu. Hata ufmalie unasema ah unagainiwe hata Mungu anajua. Hiyo hezi toka. Nimeokoka lakini hiyo hezi toka. It is an exit. It is an entrance of the demon. Na let me tell you. You cannot tell me that we chase demon here and you are not closing the door. Let me tell you. If you want security, we must close our doors. Ama? If you want to be safe, you must close the gate, then the doors, then the window, then sleep well. 
Are you together? But don't tell me you brethren of the God. Don't tell me. Tunashida hapa tunaoba mwaka msima. Hata tunatoa pesa. What is the cost root of our problem? There is a door. There is an entrance that is not closed. And if you close that entrance, if you enter, let me tell you, God will going to be with us. Ebu niambie, mtu wako na weakness kumi, kama hizi. Yes, umeokoka wokovu wa damu, lakini wokovu wa utakaza uko dani yako. Let me ask ourselves. Wokovu wa utakaza tuko na haki. Okay, niambie ni ukweli, it's an adaption sins. It's a damu na evil walitenda. Yes, ni dhambi ya mama yako na baba yako. But what are you doing? You are simplifying sins. You are simplifying sins until the degree that you will die. That is when you will understand sin is the death. Satan hataki uone kitu. Anataka usimplify uje uwabio ni kurogwa. Dhabi diyo siigie mtu na simutoshe. It starts with the ignorance. For you to be possessed to be a sinner, you must become an ignorance. Na ukitaka kujua mtu wa merudi nyuma, uchapu wa kiroho, uchapu wa kiimani, ukimushuhudi unasikia nasa, anahemara, bwana ni muema, anadoubt, uchapu wa imani, lakini usafi wa moyo, usafi wa okovu, hauogopagi bere ya watu. Usafi, kitu safi, kinakaa kwa soko. Kitu safi, hata kipate dust. Kinajulikana kilikuwa safi, ni matope kimetupiwa. Hata kama munataka damu yuooshe, kuna mahali munaabiwa, jitukuzeni kwa damu. Nadipo unaona kanisa, tumekauka hivi. Yununa fire! Badala fire ishome setani, inafanya, inachoma biyashara. Fire! Ulipata pesa na rani. Fire! Inakoka mtoto. Why? Last. How could you be able to kiss a woman? Toto. Kwa hivyo, shetani ya kona ex-beat. Shkiza. Hameshika. Ulifanya buwana wa yewenyewe. Asisomesha wa toto. Wakakosa. Mpango wakada, ukaenda, ukawasomesha, ukawasomesha, ukawasomesha. Kutoka hapo, hau kuwareta. Badala ukuja hapa uombe, uwabia bwana ninajua, nilikura haramu, watoto wangu walisoma na haramu. Najua hiyo hamutaki, lakini nasima, nilisomesha watoto wangu na haramu. Niliweka huu mtu kama kamufuko. Hmm? Na ninajua, pesa zote ya university, na nani, joroge wa wajiko, wa muturi wa abere, wa mu, ule bwana wa, bwana wa nani haku soma. Na ninamuonaga dia na kuwa na matato. Wangu waliada mpaka university, wakavanya roo, lakini ya kufuta bagi. Hameanza kuwa hivi. Hameanza kuwa hivi. Baba, si labda hiyo dirikuwa exit ya dhabi ya poma hii. Diyo tunapigo. Saa shetani diyo naona, anaigiria kwa watoto. Jumulikosa kutubu dhabi zirikuwa kwa watoto. Na ya hii diyo matuda ya mwiri. Sikirizeni, hii diyo matuda maa yako. Inapo koma. Inasi maiza ya kitu. Tama, kila tama ya kitu. Ukitama ni nyama utaeda ukure. Na hii miri ikitamani kitu. Ikitamani utakatifu, utaona matuda ya utakatifu. Ni kuri tumewafunika na neema. Tumewafunika na upako. Lakini nyinyi, you are not dealing with your body. I can cover your body with the anointing. But I cannot make, stop your body to grow. Stop your ass to grow. Until you make sure that you stand changing and transforming yourself. Waesa kuwa kwa neema, inaitagwa holding and upkeeping grace god ameku hold hapo eh akitafuta mtu ule mwaminifu saulo alikaa miaka 15 kwa kiti abaya hana mungu jo bible inasema baada ya kuwa kuteda dhambi mungu alimweka kwa kiti holding grace aki aki hataki kumu eliminate the saizo anagojea mtu mwingine amachue akigojea daudi akuje bana isa pele sifa let me ask you Nataka muadresi hata hii kilio munaria na watoto sana. Muadresi sana. Muadresi hii biyashara munashida mukiipadia sana. Munashikila siku ni kupada begu. Biyashara tu. Na ujue, the origins of the ideas is God. Origini wa idea yote ni God. 
origin wa every ideas belong to God. Manifestation ni ya Mungu. Wewe unakuwaga only a driving force. Idea yote unaona uko naye inatoka kwa Mungu. How come God amekupatia idea na ameanza ameanza kukuendelesha all of a sudden akuache na wewe ndio driving wheel akuachanishe si kuna mahali pamoja si ukijiangalia kuna mahali pamoja wachana na watu uulize Mungu wa maarifa na wa akili ni nini tuliko sana your bible say you are alpha and omega and in the midst you are the Emmanuel amen so god cannot start so hapa Emmanuel god with us agalia kama uliweka people with us oro idea with us or pride with us do in between the connector between Emmanuel and alpha is Emmanuel ama he is the anchor anashikanishaga hapa the pegs uli ana the peg ya hapa na hapa ya kushinanisha hii majina yote inaitwa Emmanuel god with us hebu angalia people with us katikati alpha na omega eh ulipoona umeanza kubanuka si ulianza ku worship watu si uliona masongo ndio wanafaa my boyfriend and my girlfriend pesa zako Emmanuel akakosa akikosa ndio tunaingiaga tamaa ya mwili ndio kila wakati Mungu kimuodoa tamaa ya mwili itaingia tamaa ya mwili inaingia matendo ya mwili itaingia mimi hii matendo ya mwili inaingiaga when god is not going to become a Emmanuel you will see and this is the the fruit na hii ndio matendo and this is This is the fruit of the fresh. If God is not going to become a Emmanuel, you will see the fresh. Kuna mtu naonaga hapa ameriga juu ya 50,000. Kuomoka si kupata pesa, abia pesa sako sipate mali. Juu resort ya kupata pesa ni mali. Then ukipata mali abia bwana, eh afanye ukurie mali. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Juu sipo na ukitakaye ona mali, utakaye ona pesa. Ukose kuobea pesa zako sikuwe mali. Then ukipata mali, oba Mungu ufurahie mali zako. Jua yesapata mali na ukose kufurahia, ifurahio na wengine. Watu wa Mungu tunahitaji Mungu. Hatuhitaji mafuta, hatutaki manabii sana wale wanatuabia mambo yetu. Toyesakosa kuabiwa, toyesakosa kuonewa, lakini Bwana atuone na tutabadilisha in Jesus name. Toyesakosa kuabiwa tutabarikiwa, lakini Mungu atubariki na siri. Oh hallelujah. Jiulise siku ya leo. Tukimaliza hii mwaka, ni wapi umekauka? Ju Bible inasema sisi tulizalishanwa katika miti ya kichaka. Amen. What does Bible say? Ati na sisi tulitoaliwa katika miti ya kichaka. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo katika that bad last, God can graft you. Tik, sisi watu kama sisi ndio tuwe mapasi. Sisi watu kama sisi tunahubiri hivi. Cheki atugeri kwa mapasi God ametuzalishana na ukohani tukawa mapasta So ninaamini hiyo tabia yako haiwezi kukuua lakini wawe sabadilisha wabie bwana na jua the entrance of my problem is this exit is this entrance Everybody has an entrance of the evil each and everybody We are chasing the demon but you are not closing the entrance kama wewe na wewe pepo yako ukiokoka na ukimwamini inakuwa you are very weak in eyes whatever you see you clamor quickly you never forget pray for god you may see the good things instead of bad things don't imitate your brother don't imitate each and everybody is a demon fighter are you together and we must close the door so that our life will not going to become dry we must assist our children We must assist others who are weak to fight. Are you together? Please let we not provoke others. Let we assist the others. Jesus went to the Decapoli. If you see somebody is not ignorant, please help him to fight his demon, to fight to fight his evil area. Whoever does not close his entrance of the evil reign, akianza kufanya mabaya inakuwa kama multiplied na ndio unaonaga ni gumu sana kufufua pastor ame backslide ni kama kuelimisha professor haro ni kama kuelimisha professor 
labda akuwe humbled hata uone aisajipanya pastor ame backslide anajua neno na alikuwa anahubiri anajua justification scripture quitting scripture na anajua so labda tu apigwe kichapo aishe kama paulo akuwe demascus kumhubiria inakuwa agumu labda bwana amunenee na neema amwambie this is your hata ogereshwa na roho anaogereshagwa alafu baadaye anarudi nomo anarudi back to his former why alikuwa na dilu na pepo baya lakini simeingia nyingine mingi we are anointed we know but god anasema amechoka na kupaka mafuta wateda dhambi nitamwambia muniangalie vizuri roho wa mungu amesema amechoka kufunika wateda dhambi watu hawajaamini mungu anaogopa makosa na dhambi kuliko walio kanisani kanisani wanasema kuna neema bwana anasema neema kama watu hawatakiri na wathubu neema ya kuwaficha imefika mwisho Jumo, ugojo wa moyo kukosa amani farakano eh ghadhabu na hasira maana sana sana sazaliwa na dhabi the trigger of anger and the triggers of temper and all other things they are be triggered by sin usipokosewa anger na temper yes yamuka hapa kuna mwenye dhambi hakuja hapa aobewe hakuja kuambia Mungu atambariki amekuja atubu dhambi aone kama juu loho ya mtu ikiondokea Mungu inajuaga when you are not in one communion the conscious conscious will tell you you are not with god conscious ya mtu ina trigger inamwambia umeteda mema umeteda mabaya haleluya nani yako hapa hata kama hata kama utaambia you receive hata kama unaambia utaona mema ndani yako unajua hapa tawi langu linateda baya haki nilikwambia nature can make you sin nature tu nature weza ka huku kibira weza ka kaagoro weka yore weza ka weza ka na huko mathopeni weza ka na huko situation ile iko huko ifanye uwe mwenye dhambi weza da shule hata kama ulikuwa mtakatifu college universities shule kutoka hapo urudi ukiwa bad man or a good man ama there is people who have overruled people there is people who have overruled you even hata uwezi kamwambia wacha wachana wamekuigiza kwa shetani we uko hapa kanisani ulikuja ukaona Mungu na ukaona mambo yako imebadilika mtu wako na mamlaka amekuigiza kwa shetani na conscience yako inakwambia haki ya Mungu huyu mtu hata kama sitaki kuondoka kwake huyu hanipeleki poa mkiondoka na yeye unaanza kuambia gai johera tu mwadhani nisaidie tu Mungu Mungu niondolee hii hapa Mungu sitaki kutoka diet lakini baba yangu oye nitafanya nini sitaki kutoka ka, ka gorwe sitaki kutoka kazi hii juu niko na shida ya kazi oye baba sitaki kuacha huyu modo lakini bwana yeye ni yeye analipa nyumba yeye ni yeye anafanya nini oye baba nisaidie at the side of babylon that is where they are be forced to sing the songs how many people are at the side of this babylon they are be forced to sing their songs and they don't have the gut to say mono I know there is somebody here he is on the side of Babylon and arazimishwa aibe nyibo and let Jehovah akuja kutoe the side of Babylon you cannot fight your own you need God to come and fight for you so that you may come out from the side of Babylon ukitaka kujua kama umepoteza Mungu si kwa pesa don't weigh God with the money don't weigh God with the success weigh God with your conscience Many people they are weighing God wanapima Mungu na mali na marafiki na biashara kwenda mzuri hiyo sio hiyo kipimo tosha ya kupima Mungu yuko na wewe kama uko naye conscious dhamiri yako itakwambia hauendi vizuri itakwambia umekosea itakwambia kabla nabii atabiri nabii mkubwa ni roho yako kabla nabii akutabiria na mapenzi akutabirie na upendo akutabirie na chuki 
juu kama baraka ya hana dia sai Samuel ili determine na manabii Samuel hangezaliwa Samuel hangezaliwa so di, kuna baraka sigine hasita determine na men of god sita determine na vile uko connected with your god pigia bwana makovi kama unanipata either you like it utoke kanisa uende ukuje ukae utaganyike hapa kuna baraka sigine hasitapatikana juu ya mtu wa Mungu hasitapatikana na vile muna prison worship hasita determine sita determine vile connection yako na Mungu imekuwa na vile conscience yako inasema na ninaomba siku ya leo hata kama hutabarikiwa hata kama hutaabiwa vitu vizuri sije sitafurahisha moyo wako bwana aditamaini baraka yako juu ya usafi wa moyo juu ya dhamiri yako pokeni neema kama Samuel angezaliwa ni kwa sababu ya mchugaji Eli alimuita mama Mulevi. Halo? Hakumuita alimuita Mulevi. Kwa hivyo tukikaa vizuri na ni baada ya Hana kusema I'm not going to worship people. I'm going to abudu. Akasema sitaki kustaki shida yangu kwa sitaki kustaki penina kwa Eli tena. Sitaki kustaki kusemaga mambo yangu mbele ya mapasta kutoka leo na haja yangu ijulikane na Bwana na hapo akaandika taarifa akasema anainuaga mnyonge chini anamkatisha juu anaponyaga mgojo kwa ajili ya upendo wake anamtoaga aibu kunaye baraka hasija determine kanisa yenu hasija determine how anointed of your pastor it determine conscious yako umeconnectaje na Mungu Nani yako tayari kubadilika? Nani? Nyakati za mwisho simefika. Nyakati simefika msikize msisikie. Ya kwamba kuna baraka mtapata bila kutamkiwa mema na mchugaji. Utapata mchugaji na pressure zake. Utampata na pressure za maisha. Lakini Mungu hajaipata pressure. Ana neema nyingi ya kukusamehea. Ana neema nyingi ya kukufuvua. Una neema. Reteni roho bila sabona. Kilieni na mujitakaze ili maisha yenu isikauke. Nadhania umeguzwa na hiyo neno. Nadhania kuna mahali hata kama hiyo mti imekaushwa na dhambi. God can graft your branch again. He can do grafting. Hana alipoli rais ya kwamba ye ana uadui na akajua uadui umezuilia nizizae akasema sasa sina hana hata anitusi sina uadui na hana ukiangalia ujue hana alikuwa na uadui mwingi kila wakati penina akinunuliwa nguo moja ya mtoto wake alikuwa anaitisha bili ako peke yako ako singo lakini penina angenunuliwa kitu hana ni lazima angeitisha angenunuliwa trosa ya kijana wa, 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 wa penina naye alikuwa anaitisha so alijad alijasa an unnecessary item how many people we are because of we do weave hasira competition tumejasa an unnecessary blessing mpaka malaika akija anaona tuko na utajiri lakini bado hatuko one day hana akajua oh i have to change hii hali ya mwili wangu naye hii ndio tabia ya mwili akasema uadui kabia kaenda hapo kama vile umeingia hapa kama vile tumeanza maombi baba cha badilisha mdomo wangu i'm very rude baba badilisha roho yangu saa si shida aliobea shida ikakataa kutoka akauliza si labda hii shida imekataa kuwa fredri si labda hii kipawa si labda hii baraka is not friendly to my my body kuna baraka saa kuja because you are wired simekataa kuja kwako let me ask you how many anointed you umeahidiwa how many unabii umeabiwa how many kuomba si uchange hii uone useme it is time 
to make my tree not to dry again. And if it is all overdone, I know you can graft me. Pokea ni name in Jesus' name. Amen. Tusome. Kitabu cha Samueli wa kwanza, mlango wa kwanza, mustari wa kumi. Na huyo mwanamke alikuwa na uchungu rohoni mwake. God bless you. Alikuwa na nini? Uchungu. Semeni. Turudie tena. Alikuwa na? Uchungu. Semeni tena. Yes. Ebu agaria. Turudie tena. Samueli wa kwanza, mlango wa kwanza, mustari wa kumi. Na huyo mwanamke alikuwa na uchungu rohoni mwake, akamuomba Bwana akalia sana. God bless you. Uchungu unafanyaga tusibarikiwe. Kuna watu hapa uchungu wa roho, competition of the families. Tunasema ya kwamba naye huyo mwanamke alikuwa na uchungu rohoni mwake, akamuomba Bwana akalia sana. Hiyo ni uchungu. Kwa hivyo uchungu wa badala aobe maombi ya request, alikuwa naomba maombi ya pain. Pain ukiwa nae, it creates competitions. Every pain, pain yote uko nae, it must be triggered by something. So maybe it's a NFA. Uko, uko na uchungu wa wivu. Uko na uchungu wa, wa mabishano. So, uchungu wako umetrigiwa na nini? Bible, hata kuna watu nyubani, baraka hasiwezi kuja kwa hao. Bible inasema, alikuwa na uchungu wa kimuoba mungu. So, alikaa sana bila kubarikiwa. Lakini siku ya moja, alipo jua uchungu ni mwingi. Alibadilisha kuwa na uchungu. Akaeda nyubani ya bwana. Akasema, I don't want anything else. Leo siji kustaki penina. Mutu walio na, 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 na uchungu, na wivu. Ana adresaga other problems, but not his problem. We unaongeaga vile wewe, wewe umefanyiwa. Vile umefanya. Unaobaga wewe vile uhurumiwe. Jue umepigwa. You have never addressed your issues. From there ni kimarize ya mwisho. Alipo kuwa na uchungu. Episode number two. Inasema ya kwaba. Haku pata kitu. Lakini siku moja haka amuka. Haka address muti wake. Kasema mimi katika matuda ya mwiri. Mimi ni kona hii ina nisubuwa miaka yangu. Haka jua. Ni kona uchungu. Na imeza zuiria. Hii ni entrance. Ya kuni challenge. Cross the doors of the evil. You're not going to be challenged. You will get a chance of your life. Please, day by day, regardless your door, iko na shida nyingi ilikatika. Iwekaga siku baada ya siku. Na hiyo mrango Mungu akiona umejaribu kuipinga, kuifunga, Bwana ni msaada utakayepatikana wakati wa shida. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Hana alipofika hapo, what happened? Alienda kwa kanisani. Akasema saa hii adresi uchungu. Nakuja na hitaji yangu. We mungu ni bariki na mtoto. Na e uone, siwa mashidano, nitamulete nyumbani mwako. Na nitakaye mulete nyumbani mwako. Najua, kutoka hapo. Haya, mungu wakasikiriza. Na dipo ni nakuabia, when you change your attitude, when you change your body tabia, you don't need to be assisted to receive from God. God will come to you direct. Pigia bwana makovi kama umeshika point. Utakaye change mienendo yako. Uchange tabia zile unaona sina kusukuma. Hautahitaji kusaidio na mtu wa kusaidia kuomba. Bwana mwenyewe ni musaada wako. Pokeni neema mbadilikeni. Watu wengi tunabadilisha na tunasaidia katika hata imani kila wakati. Tunashida tukiwasukuma kwa mungu. Ni juu ni waofu na tabia bofu. Wamekataa kusimama na mwenendo yao. Wamekataa kusimama na haki ya Bwana. Wamekataa kusimama na dhamiri zao vile Mungu anawaabia. Sasa ni waoga kwenda mbele za Bwana. Wakati utaona umeanza kudiru na dhabi zako, hautakuwa muoga na utapata hata kile hufai kuobewa, utapata kile uli ya hidio tagu uzaliwe. Jusiwe naweza kukuobea leo kazi, lakini naweza kosa kujua ahadi yako na Mungu ni nini. Labda uko na ahadi kubwa Bwana alikuahidia kuliko ile nina kuobea. Please, please. Odoeni wadui. Odoeni hasira. Odoeni ulevi. Odoeni uchawi. Tuobeni nyumba zetu. Siache hiyo hizo tabia zote 13. Hizo tabia 12 sikiondoka kwetu. Day by day na tusitanje. Vile tunataja pesa. Vile tunataja mali. Tukisitanja, God will make our tree like tree number 2. You will become evergreen. 
utakaa kama mtu umekadwa kando ya maji tutakaa kando kama wakristo wamepandwa kando ya damu ya Yesu Kristo hata pepo na mashetani hawatatuguza haleluya hebu anga uwe galia hiyo mtu wako you have so many 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 things this is the episode hebu angalia which tree do you want one or two eh yeah. unataka hii imekauka ama ile ingine this is a good time for you to change ukiangalia ni nini you cannot change okay transfiguration or transformation is not an, an instant duty it is a gradual system it is day to day changing it is day to day start changing day by day start changing by day changing and transformation it is not change you can change instant because of situation why is a change juu ya kugojeka why is a change juu ya kufukuswa why is a change juu ya kukosa lakini ukiamua to transform it is you internally ni wewe ndani yako mungu hataki changes they need the trans- the reformers are you together so please people of god yuko hapa ndani ya church wewe unaniona ukiwa mahali pale ulipo please change change uh, trans- uh, transform reform transform start reforming jua uko na hii he address every asubuhi he address mtu anayegojeka na mesaga penikila na na mesaga dawa ebu toba ebu hali ya kuchange ianze ianze transformation ianze kama dawa abia bwana taja udhaifu wako ana alipo change ana alipo reform akaacha kuwa na ukasira akaacha kuwa na uadui kwa kwa penina bible inasema baraka yake haikuwa na mkono haikuwa ipeano na Mungu eh, ipeano na pasta ilikuwa ipeano na Mungu kuna watu ambao tumeshinda tukibegi mapastors tukijaribu kuwape vitu yes tuheshimieni tuwafanyie ibada lakini kuna watu ambao kila dakika lakini mukibadilika bwana hata wapata fitadani zenu bwana hata wasaidia mkiwa barabarani bwana hata wasaidia mkitoka na mkiingia bwana hata wapigania vita zingine abaso hata bila kujua mtakuja kutusurprise mnakuwa baraka kwetu wachugaji neema ya neema ikatoshe neema ikawe nyingi kwako neema ya kubadilika neema ya kubadilisha ikuwe ndani yenu katika jina la Yesu Kristo pokeni neema in Jesus name so badilikeni na mtaona bi baraka zingine they are not in the hands of men of god they are direct from you hata wale walio diaspora bwana akabariki